Today we're gonna to talk about how to make music with an iPad and an acoustic instrument at the same time. Now this could be with a drum set or it could be with acoustic guitar. or a sax, something of that nature, plus a technologically driven device, laptop, tablet, iPad, anything that can have an app or an iOS or Google Play um, musical interactive software on it. So step one, you need to get a table or something to hold your <laughs> technology on. Step two, you need an acoustic instrument. So I have a hi-hat, snare and a kick drum. Step three would be microphones and something to record too. I have a Zoom H6 right here. What I'm talking about here with the Zoom is for recording, not for going live. So I have this Zoom H6 for the studio to be able to record so you guys can get a better feel or hear what's going on here. You have step four, which is an iPad. And within the iPad, you need some apps. But right now, the main app we're using is an MPC. And inside the MPC, you can go into the program, pull up new sound, go to a turntable, and load in any of the songs off of your iTunes account, and chop them up and start being able to trigger out music. In this case, I pulled up Muddy Waters' Manish Boy and chopped up about the first 30 seconds of it and made little individual um, sounds out of that. So what you're hearing in the song um, of me playing that you'll see at the end of this um, that's strictly the first 30 seconds of Muddy Waters' Manish Boy. Now, you don't need anything else outside of that except for a step five, which would be an amplifier to run this to. But we're gonna take a different step five. Step five is some pedals. So what you see here is you see a looper pedal, you, an effects pedal that holds sound, and then a final destination kind of mastering, um, I, I, I think of it as EQ and mastering, um, pedal. And depending on where I'm playing or how the amp sounds for that night, this uh, Final Destination mastering type of pedal I think of has different kind of gains and different kind of tone control and, and bass and treble, which helps me to craft out what the iPad is sounding like. But it's a really simple rig to tour with. I have done little coffee shops. I've opened up for other bands in typical standard venues. <laughs> And I've done things um, in Canada, like in cottage country, going out to people's cottages and playing for little small parties and stuff like that. I don't go very long because this is a very limited situation. So a half hour usually hypes up the crowd just enough and you can leave them kind of wanting more. That's basically it. Um, next, I'll, I'll do a performance for you so you can hear what it sounds like. There's no more steps. If there was a step six, it'd be go get a coffee. <laughs> Attering. It's a drum machine. Uh, I don't even want to call it a machine. It's because you can load in your own samples. Um, and it goes in a circle. 